Phenibut Review. What's up, nootropic enthusiasts? Did you miss our nootropics review series? I bet you did. This time we've prepared something special for you. Phenibut. This is quite a controversial compound. Some deem it anxiolytic, some say it's nootropic. If you're among those who want to use Phenibut safely, this guide is for you. We have prepared answers to some of the most frequently asked questions about this versatile drug. What form of Phenibut is more effective? What dose to take? What are Phenibut's benefits and side effects? And many other interesting facts. What is Phenibut? Phenibut, or beta-phenyl-Y-aminobutyric acid, is a GABA-mimetic psychotropic drug that is clinically used in its racemic form. It indeed has both anxiolytic and nootropic properties, and it can be used as a mood elevator and a tranquilizer if you have anxiety or insomnia. Structurally, Phenibut is similar to baclofen, another clinically used GABA receptor agonist. It is important because there are two types of GABA receptors in the brain, GABA-A and GABA-B, and both of them influence the brain. So the R enantiomer of Phenibut mostly has an impact on GABA-B receptors and is shown to be much more effective than S enantiomer. Interestingly, the same thing is observed with baclofen, which is also a GABA-B receptor agonist. In the research devoted to the comparison of the two isomers of the substance along with its racemic form, it is shown that the antidepressant, antinociceptive, and locomotor inhibiting activity of racemic phenibut relies on R enantiomer, and it correlates with the binding affinity of enantiomers of phenibut to GABA B receptors. But enough of chemistry, let's talk benefits. The most fascinating thing about phenibut is that it combines two opposite effects tranquilizing and activating. On the one hand, it has a calming action and helps combat anxiety. On the other, it activates the brain and makes you think clearer. That's one of the reasons why it's widely prescribed by doctors in former Soviet countries to treat all kinds of neurologic conditions – ADHD, hyperactivity, lethargy, and so on. So what does Phenibut actually do for our body? First of all, it is known to improve the functional state of the brain by normalizing metabolism processes. It also reduces vasovegetative symptoms including headache, feeling of heaviness in the head, sleep disturbances, irritability, and emotional ability. Besides, Phenibut increases physical and mental performance, attention, memory, and speed. It reduces manifestations of asthenia, which means that it can improve well-being and motivation without extra sedation or agitation. In addition, Phenibut helps reduce anxiety, tension, and restlessness, and it normalizes sleep. Above all that, Phenibut is said to improve cerebral blood flow. It can increase volumetric and linear velocity, reduce vascular resistance, improve microcirculation, and it has an anti-aggregant effect. It prolongs the latent period and shortens the duration and severity of nystagmus. It does not affect choline and adrenal receptors. The good thing about Phenny is that it does not cause depression of the central nervous system or the muscular relax and after effect. Want to hear more about the effects of Phenibut? Listen to an interview with qualified MD Alexander Galushak on our channel that we translated several years ago. There are a number of Phenibut intended uses. According to the official instructions, it may be used in the following cases. Asthenia and anxiety neurotic states. Insomnia in people of all ages. Vestibular disorders including motion sickness, vertigo, and Meniere's disease. Phenibut can be included in the complex treatment of alcohol withdrawal, and it is also prescribed in cases of stammering, tics, or enuresis, both in adults and in children. When it comes to the safe use of Phenibut, it is very important to stick to the dosage recommendations. Remember that Phenibut dose and duration of treatment shall be determined only by the medical professional. In practice, there are various opinions among nootropic enthusiasts regarding the dosing schedules of Phenibut. Commonly, the standard dose is one tablet with 250 mg of the active substance. The starter dose can be reduced to a half of the tablet. Phenibut is supposed to be taken orally after meals. The duration of one standard course is not more than two to three weeks and upon medical supervision. Please remember that these recommendations apply for the officially produced Phenibut tablets. Also note that different Phenibut versions may contain different types of isomers in their chemical formula. Hence, they may have different potencies. 
As far as officially produced Fenibut tablets are concerned, they usually contain R isomers. They are deemed more potent than S isomers of some Fenibut versions, which are produced in independent chemical laboratories. Hence, S isomer Fenibut may turn out to be less potent. Generally, nootropic enthusiasts use Fenibut tablets for sleep or anxiety in the dose of up to 1 gram once or twice a week. This dose is said to be fine for many people. In fact, even one 250 mg tablet of Fenibut may be enough to feel the effects of the compound. Let me answer some of the questions that you frequently ask on how to use Fenibut. Some people wonder if it is possible to stop taking Fenibut abruptly. The short answer is no. It is not recommended to withdraw from Fenibut abruptly. At the end of the treatment course, the dose shall be gradually reduced over a week or two. Otherwise, a withdrawal effect may develop. The next question is about the side effects. Usually, they are noticeable upon the first intake. Adverse reactions may include drowsiness, nausea, irritability, agitation, anxiety, dizziness, and headache. Allergic reactions are also possible. Can you overdose with Fenibut? If you don't follow the dosage recommendations or common sense, you can easily get an overdose. Fenibut overdose is dangerous because it can severely depress the central nervous system. It may also cause various adverse reactions, including aggravation of the side effects mentioned earlier. If Fenibut is used for a long time in extremely high doses, it will very likely induce addiction and other negative consequences. That's why we encourage you to use Fenibut and other nootropics safely. The best idea would be to consult a doctor prior to use of any medication. Another concern we'd like to put the light on in this vid is whether Fenibut is a narcotic. Yes, you might have heard a lot of scary stories about Fenibut. For example, it is reported to be terribly addictive. This is a real concern, especially when it is used in high doses or with prolonged administration to get high or feel euphoria. In this scenario, addiction indeed can develop with Fenibut, but that is only when the preparation is misused. To not get addicted to Fenibut, one should follow these simple rules. Avoid using Fenibut for more than 14 to 21 days in a row. Do not exceed the daily dose of 500 to 1500 milligrams. Do not cancel the treatment with Fenibut abruptly. Try to avoid concomitant use with certain medications, particularly sedatives and anticonvulsants. If you have a history of addictions, take extra caution with Fenibut or better choose a different preparation. Do not combine it with alcohol or use it as an alcohol replacement. We'd like to remind you that Fenibut is a pharmaceutical drug. It was developed in the Soviet Union as a preparation intended to decrease stress and at the same time maintain high performance levels, which could not be achieved with regular tranquilizers. Fenibut was even added to the Russian astronaut's medical kit. Nowadays, it is widely prescribed by neurologists to adults to reduce anxiety and even to children and the elderly for better sleep or to women for reducing premenstrual syndrome manifestations. You can read many anecdotal Fenibut reviews on Reddit. But how exactly is American Fenibut different from the Russian one? Let's figure that out. In general, the difference between the Russian and American versions of Fenibut lies mainly in the dosage. In the countries of its official production, including Russia, one pill of Fenibut contains 250 milligrams of the active substance, which is deemed enough for the treatment of many conditions related to the nervous system. For some reason in the US, such dose is seldom an option. As we can see, there is a difference in the attitude towards Fenibut in America compared to the countries of its licensed production. And this difference lies mainly in the form, dosage, and desired effect. There are a variety of forms including Fenibut hydrochloride HCl and Fenibut free amino acid FAA. Fenibut hydrochloride is widely available and is used mainly in powder form to be dissolved in a liquid. Fenibut free amino acid is also a tailor-made Fenibut powder, which is usually put under the tongue. However, these forms, unlike conventional Fenibut tablets, are not used officially in any country for medical treatment. Still, their recreational effects are reported to be very potent. This variety of forms can easily confuse inexperienced nootropic enthusiasts, so it's important to choose the vendor very carefully. The aspect of legality is also worth a mention. 
Legally, Phenibut can be obtained upon prescription in Russia and some of the CIS countries. In many other countries of Asia and Middle East, as well as in the USA and the EU, it is a non-scheduled compound. It means that you won't find it over the counter, but it can be easily bought online. However, if you are from Australia, we highly recommend that you refrain from purchasing Phenibut. In Australia, it is a controlled substance. Hence, it will likely be stopped by the customs if you decide to import it. We began this review with talking about the safety of use. To sum it up, let's answer this intriguing question. Is Phenibut safe to use? To tell the truth, it is not always the safest and the best idea to take Phenibut. First of all, it is a very strong medication that shall only be used when prescribed. And second of all, if you're new to nootropics, it's always better to try something more gentle and mild first. For example, Selenc, Afobazole, or Mexidol, etc. By the way, check out the video about Selenc if you like this one. Thanks for watching this Finibut review. Subscribe for future videos and stay tuned on Cosmic News on our social platforms.